wig friends. So today I have for you John Renault's Sarah and 12 FS8. Um, so let's just dive right in. Sarah, let's do her measurements. She has a bang of 15 inches, which is pretty much not a bang. So you've got these long, it's long. There's no layering. Uh, the side is 15 and a half. You've got 17 on the crown and 12 and a half at the nape. And the overall weight is 5.1 ounces. She has a fair amount of hair. Um, it's a fair amount. It's not horrible. It's not, you know, I think what lends itself to feeling more like it is more is the body that it also has in it and the fact there's just no layers but I mean it's a good amount of hair um, this little contour it came like this I didn't do anything to it I've, I've just spritzed it you know with some a little bit of water to keep her in control <laughs> um, I will show you the cap at the end so let me give you a look on all sides. She might just be a tiny bit damp right here from where I spritzed her. I am five, seven and a half. Okay, so what can I say about Sarah? She's a lot. <laughs> I really don't think that I would recommend this wig for a new wig wear. Um, she was just something I had always had my eye on because this is very close to my bio hair. Um, if you're not used to this much hair or you're not used to ever having curls, this piece could be too much for you. Um, if you're a newer wig wearer and you have an event to go to, maybe you're getting married and you look at this and you just think it would be perfect, then, you know, by all means, get it. But if you're just wanting it to want it, I would wait till you get a little more experience, maybe under your belt to handle a piece like this. I would not buy this piece to wear to work every day. This is not a daily driver. Um, really cute. You can pull, pull this up like that with a little clip and keep it right out of your face if it's windy. No, very romantic um, piece. Great for, great for a wedding, for sure. Um, if you were going to wear it down, I don't think this would make that great of an up updo just because there's no layers through here to kind of hide so but you can definitely pull this top part back and it is very cute that would be cute with some flowers right there it's just it's very romantic hair um the let me show you the lace front it's very well done this is 12 fs8 I don't feel like it, this root is too dark on this piece, and the knotting is really, really nice. This is a fully hand-tied cap, which is John Renault's hand-tied caps are my absolute favorite. It's like Rachel and Julianne are two of my favorite wigs that I wear daily. Um, however, this one just feels the tiniest bit smaller. It, it could just be this piece. I, I don't know, but it's just the tiniest bit smaller. It's not going to make any difference in me wearing it. I just thought I would, you know, mention it. This is a full mono top, so you can flip this, you know, the other way. Um, show you, kind of, she'll go get an idea. I don't want to tear her all up, but she'll go, you can flip her the other way. She can get crazy. You start making her mad though so if you do start you know kind of messing with her and she starts getting out of control this is your friend just some water that'll bring her right back in line um she is a regular synthetic 
these fibers to me, and I bought this from a wig sister. It was new, but I have no idea, you know, how long it's been sitting around in a box. I really don't know. It does feel a little bit dry, these fibers. Um, I can't say for sure, um, you know, if it's just this individual piece. So uh, let's take it off and look at the cap. Okay, so we have our fully hand tied cap, very stretchy. My head is 22 and a half, and then I have all this bio hair back here, which kind of pushes me up to 23. Um, it has an extended nape, uh, Velcro adjusters, which I have all the way out. There's your ear tabs, and there's your mono top. You can part this, you know, anywhere. You see my finger um really beautiful beautiful piece i'm not sad that i bought it i'm very happy with it i'm going to keep it though for more of a special occasion kind of thing it's really is not something i'm going to want to wear to the grocery store <laughs> or anything like that um i would say though if i had to go somewhere that even though I wouldn't consider a special occasion, but if it was really windy, I feel like this would be a good windy wig just be because you can pin this back and it's gonna keep that out of your face and blowing into your face, which is nice. It's very cute like that. So yeah, that's, uh, that is Sarah. She is a beauty she's not going to be for everyone so if you're a new wig wearer and you your bio hair was straight she could completely overwhelm you <laughs> and if you're limited on you know funds and how many wigs you can get and you're looking for something to wear daily this is not your girl just she just isn't she's um, a nice piece for special occasion hair is how I would describe her okay and um, I buy all of my new wigs from the Beauty Nook, and I'm going to drop you guys a coupon code down there. So if you need it, um, it's there for you. Also, um, I was going to mention on a personal note that uh, I haven't been on here as much just because my husband is going to have a triple bypass. So, you know, I have a wig coming that I'm going to review so I'll still be back on, but um, I don't I don't know what's going to happen with that. It's kind of scary. Uh, hope, I may just be sitting around the house here taking care of him. I may make more content. I really don't know, but I just thought I'd mention it and maybe ask you guys to uh, say a little prayer for him. I'm I'm sure he's going to be all right. We caught it early, so that's good news. So anyway, everybody have a great day, and uh, I'm gonna this girl up. <laughs> Take care.